Hi, I'm the Smoking Elk, and today we're checking out my new buy. So, quick tour of the new, newly christened live fire zone, where originally the only live fire was the cad eye, but now we've got this new beast from the buy man. Isn't that a beauty? Absolute beast. So this was delivered yesterday from the buy man. Um, been had my arm on the lease for quite a while now. So delighted to finally get it into the smoking elk shack or outside the shack as it were. Um, and it's a beast. So here you have the ember maker. Um, and we've got some lovely Brywood in there from um, Brywood UK. Um, this stuff is insane. It's uh, literally um, bakes in the African sun. Um, has a moisture content of about one, one or two percent, and it feels like concrete. I mean, it's um, proper heavy, proper, proper rock hard, proper dry. So what we've done in here is we've got some kindling, um, just some fire lighters, and the Brywood. Um, and this is going to burn down for roughly um, 45 minutes and what will happen is uh, we give it a shake and we'll start getting some coals and embers um, dropping down here and then the idea is that you move them over to your cooking zones I've set this up with uh, a couple of different zones you can have the ember maker over on the right hand side and then there's one large grill um, that essentially goes all the way across the buy, giving you um, even more space. But I like the idea of two separate zones. So we've got a fire in the middle. I've got a couple of uh, grates here. Bottom grate, you've got four different grate settings there, four different heights. So bottom grate is obviously going to be for your intense grilling. Um, I've got another grate up here just to, as a warming rack more than anything at the minute. Um, and then obviously the same here, you can have various different configurations. Um, another little bonus in here you've got a socket and a hole for the rotisserie um, so we've got one huge spit rod so when the ember maker is in the right position it's going to go across the whole bry um, so already I'm excited about that I'm thinking suckling pig um, but we shall see and then I've got a slightly smaller spit rod. If we want to keep the ember maker in the middle, we want to do a chicken or something, we can use it just on one side. And I'm thinking, uh, maybe roast dinner, we can have a chicken on the spit. Under here, this is the, ash the ashtray. So this is where all your embers and your coals sit. And then you've got this space under here. Um, and what I'm thinking is roast dinner, maybe a rotisserie rotisserie chicken on the go there get your roast potatoes underneath the hot coals bacon under there with your veggies and then lift lift the door up keep the heat in there and see how we go so that's going to be um, something that I'm going to look to try um, over the next couple of weeks um, and yeah you've got this huge flu um, I mean, this wood's pretty smokeless anyway, um, due to um, the really small moisture content. But you're not going to get smoked out, set a fire on one of these because of the flu. Um, and then when you're done, just show you it closed up. So you can imagine roast dinner, roast these in there with a bed of coals on top. Keep that closed, and that should work as an oven, giving you a nice crispy roast potatoes. But we shall see. And under here, storage. Um, I haven't put the shelf in yet, so I just need to get on with that. But storage, um, so you can keep your bywood under there, um, or any cooking utensils, or whatever you're going to need. I mean, this is real top-notch, really well made. They're actually made here. These are made here in the UK. 
um, they're made to order um, and it, yeah I mean it's a proper proper bit of kit um, you've got your top door here so when you're done just close it down like so and I mean it's definitely a, a centerpiece it's definitely a talking piece um, I'm looking forward to autumn the colder nights we'll have the fire on the go in the cad eye fire on the go in the braai just stood round having a few beers waiting for our food to cook um, so yeah that's the uh, that's the new toy in the smoking elk household I'm um, looking forward to getting to grips with it over the coming weeks and months got a lot planned um, a lot of experiments a lot of dishes that I think are going to work really well in this so keep your eyes peeled for plenty coming up Thank you.